Question 11 is still probability, but when it, it's when we start looking at fundamental counting principles. So let's take a look. 11.1, well, the first, the blurb says two learners from each grade at a high school, i.e. grade eight to matric, are elected to form a sports committee. So remember, we have two grade eights, two grade nines, two grade tens, two grade 11s, and two matrix. So the total number of learners is 10. Okay, very important. 11.1 says, in how many different ways can the chairperson and the deputy chairperson of the sports committee be elected if there is no restriction on who may be elected? Okay, so the no restriction part is just saying that they can be elected from every grade. So every one of these learners is a candidate. Okay, so we are choosing two positions. The first position is chairperson, and then the second position is deputy chairperson. Okay, so... Of all of these 10 learners, all 10 of them can be chosen as chairperson. And then once one of them has been chosen, we have nine left to become the deputy. Okay, so that's simply 90, let's see, 90 ways. Okay, easy peasy. 11.2 says a photographer wants to take a photograph of the sports committee. If in how many ways can the members be arranged in a straight line? Straight line, very important. If any member can stand in any position. Okay, so remember there are 10 of them. In the first position, we have 10 learners that we can choose from. Now, once that one learner has been chosen, in the second position, we have nine. In the third position, we have eight and so on. So you know that this is going to be 10 factorial. 10 times nine times eight, all the way down to one. If you look at our calculator, 10, shift. If you press shift and this x minus 1, x to the power of minus 1, you get factorial. So that is 3,628,800 ways. That is a lot of ways to organize just 10 people. And lastly, it says members from the same grade. Okay, so in how many ways can this photographer line up these 10 kids? If members from the same grade must stand next to each other and the grade 12 members must be in the center. Okay, so this is where we draw it out. There are 10 positions. And the middle two, one, two, three, four, five. So these middle two must be matrix. Let me use a different color. These middle two must be grade 12s. Okay, because remember, grade tiles must stand in the center. So, if we look here, in the first middle position, we have two different grade 12s that we can choose from. And then in the second position, we have the second grade 12. So over here, that's just two. Okay, now remember, it says that different grades must stand next to each other. So, the pairs need to be set. These need to be different grades. Okay, so after the grade 12s, we have four grades that need to be organized. So over here, we have four different options. And then once this has been chosen, we have three different options. And then once this has been chosen, two and then one option. So of all the grades standing together, we're going to have four factorial. But remember guys, in each of these little instances, we have, let's say this randomly gets chosen as grade eight. We have two different grade eights. So in one position, we have two grade eights that we could choose from. And in the other position, we have another two grade eights. So in each of these segments, we have two, two, two. Okay, so now, I know this is confusing, but if we combine the colors, Remember, this probability is equal to firstly, okay, or in how many different ways, they didn't say probability, in how many different ways. So the number of combinations is equal to firstly, the grade 12s need to be in the middle and there are two different ways that those grade 12s can be arranged. Then we said that if the grades have to be together next to each other, that is that, four factorial, okay? 
And then lastly, when the grades are standing next to each other, there are two different ways that those two members can be arranged. So we have one, two, three, four. Do you agree with me that we have two times two times two times two? So it's two to the power of four. Okay, hopefully you guys understand this. And here, if we say like bases, two times two to the power of four, we add the exponents, so we have two to the power of five, times four factorial, which is going to give us two to the power of five, times four factorial, it's going to give us 768 ways that they can be arranged. Okay, hopefully this diagram made you understand this a little bit better guys but when they say how many different ways if they say in a straight line put out the different spaces and fill in how many different options it will make your fundamental counter principle so much simpler just remember if things can't be repeated you're looking at factorial if things can be repeated you're looking at powers of however many options there are okay so that is question 11.